Well, the condition the uh, commission decided today unanimously, nine to zero, to uh, recommend Judge Proctor be removed. How, how serious? How serious of a case compared uh, compared to the other cases you all dealt with? Would you would you say this is looking at the number of violations and the relationships you had? Well, it is not a usual thing for judges to be removed. Um, on the other hand, judges do resign when faced with similar serious allegations. Um, it has been my information that uh, usually allegations of this uh, degree usually result in a resignation, which doesn't involve all this publicity. But Judge Proctor has every right in the world to use the system. Do you think he should resign? Given next time? I think that that is up to Judge Proctor as to whether or not he wants to resign or chooses to resign. I, I choose to let the process work its way. Are you? I know you said you're not. You weren't disappointed uh, with with them not recommending suspension. Are you? Are you concerned that he's going to be serving on the bench considering the, these allegations? Uh, we have always had concerns about the ongoing operation of Cycle Breakers Inc. and its involvement with the Fifth Division. Um, if those operations cease, then I wouldn't have near the concern that I have had in the past. Well, as you can see from the uh, uh, decision that was rendered today, they found that on several instances he violated the canons. Uh, I'm not sure exactly the number, but it appears to be at least on 16 occasions. Uh, most involving the operation of uh, Cycle Breakers, Inc. at his direction and his relationship in his probation program and with probationers. Those are the two primary areas. Mr. Stewart, are you, were you disappointed that the commission didn't recommend an interim suspension for Proctor? We felt that this kind of ongoing conduct uh, certainly needed to have that motion treated uh, with some uh, degree of concern, but disappointed would not be an accurate rea reaction. They've never done it before, and uh, it looks like at least in the foreseeable future it won't be happening. Uh, either. From, from a, a procedural standpoint, the, the Supreme Court has just uh, adjourned or will adjourn very soon for the summer recess. Um, our uh, requirement now is to file a brief um, within 20 days, although I'm sure that that time will be extended by the court. Uh, we will lodge uh, this opinion and the record with the Supreme Court uh, within 30 days as required under our rules, and then it's uh, sooner or later it's their baby.